Hi everyone, welcome back to the Capacities channel. Capacity Central Calendar is one of its most important features, so today I will give you a tour of everything that you need to know. So, first of all, how do you access this calendar? There is always this link to calendar in the left hand sidebar. If you double click on it, you'll come to today. At the very top, we have some different views for how you want to review your information. Day is the most detailed with all of these features, but these other options give you different ways of viewing your daily note. So we have a three day view here, a week view here, and a month view as well. But the day view is the most detailed, so this is where we will stay. Beneath those buttons is an overview of the information about the date. So we have the day, the week, and of course the actual date. If it's today's date, you'll see this flag. If not, you just see the other information. Um, beneath that, we have some buttons which allow you to create an object of any of these types and it will fill in the date property for you. So if you're doing daily tracking, that date property is filled in for you if you create it from that button. If you are missing a button for one of your object types, it's because it doesn't have a date property. So be sure to go to your custom object type settings. You can't add a date property to any of these, but you can to your own object types. Click on it and then add a date time property. And that will give you a button here. Beneath that is a very important part of our calendar, and that is the daily note. The section can be collapsed or you can open it just zooming in on that daily note if you prefer. This is where you can write on today's date essentially. So there are lots of ways that you can use a daily note. People often use them for structuring their day, which, which is where a daily note template can be useful. I've got several videos on this, so I will link them around here. But you can have some nicely formatted things automatically apply every day. And another very important part of our daily note is that any of the integrations that work for adding information into capacities will land on the daily note. So here, this was a text via WhatsApp to capacities. This was something via Raycast. Anything via an integration will end up in your daily notes, which means you've got a really central place to review your content from, which is very helpful. If I keep scrolling down, we'll see the date references section. And what that means is capacities is trying to find any time that this date has been mentioned. And if it has, it will list them here. So we have the date mentioned in this milestone. I mentioned it in this block when I was thinking about this question. Today's date is obviously attached to the day object. And I've also got a meeting here and a random little note to self with a timestamp. All of that information is automatically collected for me and put here in this central place. Beneath that is the created on this day section. So any object that I create today will automatically be listed here. And I have a few different choices of how I'd like to view that content just based on personal preference. And this is really helpful for reviewing what you've done over time. So you can go back to previous days and see what date references were there as well and what was created on that day. So that's the main section. And we also have this collapsible sidebar. The calendar in the sidebar is how you navigate to previous or future daily notes. So you can just scroll around wherever you want to go. And beneath that, any objects who have date references for today will be listed here as well. So that matches this milestone and this date. And I also have the Google Calendar integration set up. We also have an Outlook Calendar integration. And what that does is it pulls in a feed of the events in my calendar for today. And it gives me a very easy place from which to create a new object whose date property is linked to today. And this is just a quicker way to get started with your meeting notes and to link them and sync them with your calendar events. And once you've created an object, that calendar event is replaced with the object, which is more helpful. And it takes you to that object, which you'll be using in the future. So that's everything in our calendar. It's mainly all collected for you, which means that this hub is a place for you to 
action things. You can see what you've captured, you can write things down either within a template or freehand, and then do useful actions from here, such as creating objects or reviewing objects. If you have any questions about this, please let me know.